Hi, everyone. So yeah, my name is Dave Nielsen. I'm the head of community at Harness. And you may have heard about Harness. We just launched GitOps as a service uh, based on Argo CD, of course. Uh, but I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about getting more open source Argo CD users. And um, you know, in, in the uh, drone community, which is, I don't know if you've heard of uh, drone CI, but in the drone community, we have uh, lots of users out there who are actually using drone with Argo. And so in talking to them, I found out that uh, you know, they're experimenting, they're trying, probably just like a lot of you when you first got started. And not everyone has access to the resources to put together a complete stack. You know, you may have uh, part of the stack, but it's not very easy to try things out if you can't get the code and put it into deployment. So we, were, we noticed that people had put together some kind of stack, and we took a look at what they were doing. And um, we thought, well, what if we could just put this all together for folks so they could just try it out? So um, what we did is we took, uh, oh, we, we, thought just, we thought, what if we put this all together and you could run it on your laptop? Because if you can run it on your laptop, then you eliminate things like having to have credentials and connect to all these different systems. Right? So it makes it much, much easier for things like labs and workshops and, you know, where people need to learn. So that's what we did. So we put together something called um, the drag stack. And of course, it's Argo CD. And then it's drone CI. And then we use Gitty, but the intention is for you to be able to use this with any Git repo and also any container registry. And in our case right now, we're using Docker registry, but um, we're talking about using Harbor instead or in addition. And then of course you might wanna play around with other things. So why not add something like Litmus Chaos so you can have chaos engineering. So yeah, this is the, the drone and then the R is for you know, any registry and then Argo and then the G is for any Git. And uh, we put this all together and we're running a workshop on it uh, tomorrow. So what are the benefits that you get from something like this, though? So first of all, it's, this stack is very simple. All of the apps are written in Go. So if you want to get involved in the project and you don't have to worry about like, all of these different languages and things to, to have to mess with. So it makes a nice stack. It's also, we put together one installation process. Um, Jim and Kamesh are here somewhere, and uh, they worked for the past couple of months putting this all together. Um, and we've enabled multiple deployment targets because right now, at least what, what I'm seeing, there's a lot of folks who are very interested in the developer experience, not just overall, but even on the laptop. So how can we make the developer more productive and have an enjoyable experience on the laptop? And if you do all this, it makes it much easier. So first time users can get it to run on their laptop right away. Also, there's some other nice things. For example, all of these projects, uh, they all are declarative. They all store their configuration details in the Git repo, which is why I call this full stack GitOps. It's the whole thing. Um, and it's extensible. I, I mean, <laughs> anything in software is extensible, but you know, we're purposely building it so you can add other um, parts of the stack, like, for example, chaos engineering. So maybe instead of CI CD, it's CI CD CE or something like that. I don't know. Anyway. Um, so before I go to the call to action here, let me back up for a second. And I just want to talk about drone just for a brief moment, because I'll bet you not that many of you have heard about it, actually. So how many of you have heard of drone, drone CI? OK, about half. That's pretty good. Uh, for the rest of you, there's a couple things you might not know. So first of all, it has more GitHub stars than pretty much all of the other open source CI projects combined, including Jenkins. Now, why don't we know that? Maybe it's because drone is not part of the CNCF, <laughs> right? So, you know, we don't pay attention to it. Also, drone was started back um, by a guy named Brad, who was a, you know, he saw Docker come about and he thought, you know what? Continuous integration tests, those should be happening in containers. Instead of having to upgrade all of my tests at the same time because they're all using the same programming language uh, platform, Let's put them in containers, and then you can use whatever version you want, 
In fact, you can use whatever language you want. And then you just put a YAML file together that strings the containers together. So he's the first one to do that, and it took off in the Docker community. And that's why it's so popular. It's really primarily because of that. Also, it's one developer working on this thing. It's very tight and very clean. Of course, he had other help from other folks, but he was really focused on like, solving people's problems, not in marketing. So he focused on you know, issues, pull requests, answering questions in forums, and really working on the code. It's very tight. In fact, one of our folks has a drone running in a Lambda function. So you can actually call it, spin up a Lambda function, which then spins up other containers to build the containers that it needs. So it's, it's pretty tight. It's worth looking at. So I want you to go check out drone.io. That's the, the domain. Um, you should check it out. Anyway, OK. So what's the call to action? For this project, we have a workshop tomorrow. It's, it's the online version of it is uh, the virtual version is sold out. But I think we may have a couple more spots in person. Uh, it's in Mountain View at 1 o'clock. Um, or <clears throat> we got the domain name dragstack.org. Right now, it just points to the Git repo. But we'll start adding wherever we, whenever we put future workshops. Uh, mostly online, but we'll do some in person. We've got our Harness community where you can go, and we have a, a Slack channel in there. Or, I'm sorry, a, a Discourse community and a Slack channel as well. And on Twitter. And you can also reach out to me. Um, my name is Dave Nielsen, and with me somewhere in here are Jim Sheldon and Kamesh, Kamesh who are here. So you can come talk to us. Um, and also, I have cards here. We have a happy hour tomorrow after our workshop if you want to join us then. Thank you very much.